Now we're getting some early numbers in, in 8% reporting at this point. Still very early, but we want to bring these to you. So take a look at what we're seeing so far with 8% reporting. Paul Vallis stands at 36%. Brandon Johnson at 18%. And just under that, Lori Lightfoot, the incumbent, of course, at 17%. Get out of the way. Okay, um, and we should also go down to the next page here. We'll see uh, Jesus Chewy Garcia at 14%, Willie Wilson with 10%, J. Maul Green with 2%. Again, this is with uh, eight, almost 9% of districts reporting. All right, let's bring our, our panel, our analysts, our experts back in. Obviously, Leslie, this is very early, but when you see this, is this what you were sort of forecasting, believing? I know, as we've been talking to you over the last few weeks, you said it could be anybody's game, but these are some of the top contenders that we've heard about. Well, we, we're, we're going to see that, and yeah. we're going to see more of that tonight. I'd like to see when we've got some more reporting, but mm -hmm. also realize that there are more than 200,000 votes that have yet to be counted. And so in a race like this, depending on what turnout, uh, what what voter turnout is today uh, could take this race in a whole different direction. Yeah, so but you know, you know, it's interesting, and I don't think I've heard anybody talking about this. When we look at the 2019 election, when we had also a very robust pool of candidates, mm -hmm. we had four white men in that election, if you all remember. Sure. Yes. Um, and to get, to combined, they got 30 percent of the vote. Right, so I think we're looking at Vallis being the lone white candidate in the race. That's, I think we're looking at him getting somewhere in that neighborhood of 30%. Of what that four of, of what, what, what Whatever the, the total is, right? Because that vote was distributed among the four white candidates last time. Obviously this time, as similar to last time, we've got a good number of black candidates running. Um, and last time we saw two Latino candidates running who together got about 15% of the vote overall. So if history bears repeating, it gives us, I think, an indication of where we might be going in this election. Um, but one of, I think, the game changers will be is certainly Brandon Johnson, who, as I, I've been thinking about this, we can think about Congressman Jesus Garcia as part of the original Rainbow Coalition, as he refers to um, his time with Harold Washington and his 40 years of public service. But I have to say, I think that Brandon Johnson's created the new Rainbow Coalition mm. when you look at all of his diverse supporters across the city. Johnson at uh, almost 18% with these latest numbers. Uh, Lori Lightfoot at 16.9. Uh, Leslie, the, you mentioned the 200,000 votes. That's roughly what happened today, right? Because we've had almost 200,000 um, early and vote by mail. That, that was the 200 early. Right, That's exactly. the 200 that so, have not been counted. Okay, well, these, they started counting the, the earlies up before today. So I'm, I'm guessing that the votes we're seeing, some of them at least, were these early. They haven't released any of that. They haven't released. So okay. we can't yeah. say that. They, they, they don't start counting until 7 o'clock. Right. They don't start until But tonight. they've been processed ahead of time, right? That makes them easier no. to count, right? no. as I understand it. Well, let's, let's check with Ed Marshall when we get okay. him on. But my point is the early votes were expected to break for Vallis because 19 and 41 were two of the highest voting early and by mail uh, wards. And those are obviously pro-police. Those were expected to, be to break for ballots. Well, there could be any number of reasons that uh, the people are voting that early. You know, as, as we said before, you know, that they, they are uh, service workers. They mm -hmm. are, you right. know, policemen, firemen. Right. They are working Correction. even right. though it is election time. So this might be a way right. for them to actively engage in the elective process. I mm -hmm. think you need to look at the layout of the wards. For those that have buildings in them, you will get more turnout on election day than um, the early voting because some of them have the precincts right in their buildings. Mm -hmm. And in the neighborhoods that you mentioned, those are primarily single family homes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Joe, I don't think we can read too much into it. It's only 8%, sure, right? Absolutely. And it depends on what part of the city they came from, too. So, I mean, I think once we start getting to about 40% of the vote in, it'll be interesting to see what, what the results look like then. Now, I know I've asked this question to Alderman Harrison before, and it was definitely a wait and see. But going into it in these, uh, these weeks leading up to this, did you have an idea of who you thought would be, say, the top four candidates or even those going into the runoff? Well, I, I think that um, we've seen it be topsy-turvy, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I think that's where we're at now. I think that Vallis has gone from the consummate outsider with all the other elections that he's run in in the past and even in the last mayoral election to now being the insider, and probably, you know, my guess is that he's going to lead the pack. I don't think he's going to get anywhere close to 50 percent, but I do think that he's going to come out. We'll see at the end of the night, but I do think he's going to come out ahead of the other candidates. And then between the other three, I really think it's a toss-up. 
and, and time will tell. And I don't think we'll know tonight either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's bring in Jim Williams at Ed Marshall and talk a little bit more about how these votes are counted. Uh, we had so many, a record number, guys, of early votes. How does this go down tonight? Ed, I know you've researched this. Well, I mean, there's, there's 99,000 uh, vote by mail that uh, haven't been counted yet. They will be counted starting tomorrow, um, and that's because uh, there was a deadline last evening. So what we're looking at now is roughly a little over half a million votes today total when you add up all the early votes and the vote by mail that have been counted. Um, that is about a 32% turnout, and there's no reason to think that uh, that won't hold true uh, all night because uh, there was a shortage of voters today at the polls. It was half what the Board of Elections expected on a precinct by precinct basis. So it appears on the surface that uh, more people took advantage of the convenience of voting by mail, and that's what we're seeing. We're not seeing an increased turnout, we're seeing increased use of a convenience factor. I'm trying to figure out when the votes are counted, though, Ed. Well, the, the early the, in the vote by mail votes, I thought we decided had been voted, counted early. The, the, um, all the er early votes in person were counted and sequestered, and they're coming out now. So this first flush of votes, this 9% you're looking at right now, almost all of those votes were um, early votes that were sequestered. And uh, some of them are vote by mail that were already counted. Uh, and are being processed this evening starting at 7.01. They have to go through a scanner, they have to be verified, so they take longer. Uh, as the evening uh, progresses, you're going to see more and more of the early vote uh, pushed through the system, and everything will be citywide that we see on these results, probably up until about midnight, and then most of the numbers we see will be from the Aldermanic contest. And we want to emphasize that number you just said. They're saying 32% voter turnout. That's correct. 32% turnout right 1. now. 1.5 registered voters, exactly. 1.5 million registered voters, yep. 500,000 have voted. Yep. Okay. Thank you both. Uh, we'll be back to you shortly because I know that you're going to be taking us through many of those ward races, the ones that you're keeping your eye on.